Hello guys and welcome back. Dinner Fried Dinner Steak here to Let's Play Don't Starve, Episode 5, Season 1, Reign of Giants with Wilson. God, that was a horrible intro. But today guys, we're going to leave it off. I did some background information and research just while I was gone. Winter doesn't start till day 23. Yeah, that's, uh, that's fun. So today's objective, and the objective none the least, is we need to stockpile food because we're going to get some jerky going. But I think what I want to actually do is we're going to go on a little adventure. Why does Maxwell move so slow? Why, does, why do I call Wilson Maxwell even though he's not Maxwell? Why am I so bad at this game? Well, these are all questions we'll eventually learn as the series goes on and as the subscriber count keeps at 2. Which I'm going to address right now. If you guys like what you're seeing, I know the couple of episodes before this were really trashy because I'm still working stuff out, the out with the audio. But if you genuinely like what you see here, please, like and subscribe. You know, I don't want to be that kind of guy, but I will be. I suddenly realize I don't have my headphones on. Oh, improper of me. Just give me 30 seconds here. Ah, there we go. Much better. All right, guys, we're back again playing Don't Starve. I did some. I was at the library today, um, and I did some reading on the wiki page, which I'm gonna post below because there's two wiki pages. There's the legit wiki page, and there's the community wiki page. Wiki, 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 the wiki, the Wikipedia page, the wiki page, and I'm gonna post a link down there. We found, okay, so we found a box thing, and we found the gnome. We're going to pick up the gnome, we're going to pick up the box thing, and we're going to get going here. I'm going crazy. So, yeah, let's, let's push on. And this is actually what I was excited to see, is that maybe we'll find something new. You know? <sighs> Tumbleweed, maybe I'll get a gear in there. Who knows? Who knows? It's going to be nothing but grass. All right, guys. This looks like to be hound territory. And this is hound territory. Ah! Oh, come on. You heck off now. Great. Hound territory. So, and there's a hound spawner up there. So I guess this is what connects the two godforsaken places together. We're not gonna go up there. We're gonna we're gonna conclude that right now. I will not be taking any part of that up there. We do have another cocoon over here. There is a stone wall here, and it would be kind of nice to get that, but we're not gonna get that right now. We have stale monster meat. I just I'm at a point right now where you know what to do. You know, we definitely are gonna need stone. So let's make a pickaxe and get some stone going here. You know, my commentary sucks, not gonna lie. I'm looking for back all the feedback that I can get. So let's get mining here. Shout out to my uh, dude in uh, Greenland. Shout out to my two dudes in Saudi Arabia, or dudettes. Not sure about how that's gonna work in Saudi Arabia, but anyway, religious and ethnical entities aside, Shout out to my two guys in Canada, or got girls. Just shout out to the people in Canada. Shout out to everyone global, global, except for in China. Because communism. Because it never really works. Because, you know, you know, in socialism, if I had a dollar, you know, I wouldn't. Okay? Because they take that dollar. And initially, if... Oh, I messed up the joke. <laughs> it was like, if I had a dollar for every time socialism worked, I'd have zero dollars. Innately, if socialism did work, I'd still have zero dollars. Like, haha. -ha. Not a great way to start out a video. I suck at this. So, winter doesn't come for a couple more days. So, in the meantime, we're gonna get trapping here. You know? Ooh, what to do, what to do, what to do. Um, well, let's go to the pig king first. I'm gonna show you what happens when you give him this. You can give you gold. Look at that. Make it rain. Yes. 
Wilson wants daddy's goldies. Give me your goldies, Mr. Pig King. And we're gonna hustle tussle it back home. Because winter doesn't come apparently until day 23. Glad I knew that when that happened. Wouldn't have rushed all this prep. But nevertheless, it's good that we prep. I also read some more things. Grass. Uh, a lot of the growing processes will slow down altogether. Um, I really want to get a box of bees going here. Because honey ham is... I, I heard it's the, the, sh the kitten's mittens. I'm waiting for this, star this red bird to die. It's not going to give me any food or morsels, but... I guess it's going to give me a crimson feather. We're going to not touch the berries here. We're not going to touch any of this stuff. Let's get this monster jerky going here. Let's store. Put up some more meat. And because of just the events around us today, we're going to build... We need rope. Let's refine some more. One, two, three. Combine the stack. Let's put the stone down. We should have enough for... No, we're going to need um one more piece of rope. So we can make another drying rack. Which we can place right there. And we can get another piece of meat going here. Good is good. Open the chests. Uh, you can... Oh, stale berries. Okay. Well, hold up, hold up, hold up. Before I freak out about stale berries. Because that's really good filler. Oh, no. Night. Nighttime. Um, grass. Okay. Let's stop freaking out here. Let's merge those two together. Oh, that didn't do anything for that. Alright. Where's all this wood? Chester, my man. Okay. Wood's been put in place. It's gonna put the charcoal away. The crimson feather. I have no idea what I did with it, but that can go there. The hammer's there. Garlands. Uh, the seed stash. Where'd that be at? Alright, we need to deal with not only the berries, but we need to also deal with our own innate hunger. So we can put this into... There we go. See, we got... We got good berries. So when you can find spoo when you combine foods of different spoilages together, you get um you get all sorts of fun stuff. You cook a green cap, you're gonna eat it. Uh, the butterflies we can this is I think we can can we plant them? No. I thought you could plant butterfly wings. Okay, I know you're hungry, buddy. Okay, got some more monster jerky. We're gonna we're gonna get this jerky going here because I heard jerky is a great way to, you know, do things in the winter time. All right, eat the red too. I'm thinking about how I'm gonna do this here because I think if I could get some small jerky going, ooh, that actually might be a good idea. But the frogs are gonna like kick my butt though. Because frogs are pretty strong. And they're going to take items too. Unless I could kite. That actually might be worth my time. Uh, let's do that. Let's get another spear. We need more rope. We're going to go on the hunt. Tomorrow, we're going to go on a nice, big hunting trip. Because this is what we're gonna do in Don't Starve. We're also gonna pick up Chester to bring him along. Actually, I don't know if they. I don't want to lose anything in Chester. We can drop that. All right, on the hunt we go. Look at all those berries. Those will be fresh berries for when winter comes. Because things on bushes don't rot. Uh, in the farms they still rot, uh, and things left in crockpots still rot. So it's best not. A, it's not really advised to leave your food in crockpots. Yeah, well, that's all in Reign of Giants. If you're playing this in any other platform, don't quote me on any of this stuff. Okay, where are the frogs? Find another component to the machine. Give me the frogs. Hello there, Mr. Frog. Okay, got some frog legs. Didn't take any damage, though. Tumbleweeds. Okay, I think this is a good spot to just chillax at. 
Okay, there's frogs up there, though. I'm going to lose sanity, though. Okay, can I just... Alright, 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 guys. Okay. Alright. This is annoying. I can't kite. Just that for a little bit of frog meat? You gotta be kidding me. In this log suit, I really wish you could last longer. How much was that axe? Let's get some more wood going here. Hey, what's up, pig? Did we pick up 100% axe off the ground? If we did, that was pretty good. And the frog's back. I'm not good at kiting frogs. Alright, looks like three hits with the staff can just take care of them pretty much easily. Okay. We're, we're, we're on a mission today, and that is that mission is frog meat. Okay. Okay. Big. Big, 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 big. Okay, let's go. Let's kill these. Okay. This is not how I want to die. I want... Yes, this is what I want. This is what I want. This is... I want the pig to aggro the frogs. And then the frogs to kill the pig. Alright. Alright, I'm get oh, Fudge. F the flint. How's the pig doing? They murdered the pig. What have I done? The frogs are not so this is terrifying. Oh my god. Why are frogs this strong? Okay. <laughs> well that's unsettling. Who made frogs as strong in the game? And you can't even, like... He's not cute. And, like, you're just... Destined to take damage. Alright, I'm getting out of here. I am getting out of here. And it's not even that far away from base, too. So, but the lakes are gonna freeze in the winter. Which is why I'm trying to get all this meat going here. Because this stuff takes one day to, uh, dry on the drying racks. Which is what I'm really into right now. Because, alright, let's get these frog legs going. Let's store them up. Let's get some jerky. Do I want the corn? I'm not really looking for corn right now. What I'm looking for is corn. Yeah. I don't know. What am I looking for? Well, we still need to eat today. Oh, shoot. The berries are all going bad. Uh, everything's just going bad. Everything's going to shit on us. And the drumsticks. Okay. Just relax. We're gonna be fine. Because we're gonna get meatballs. We're gonna take the drumsticks and we're gonna throw them in there. And we're gonna get the berries in there. And then I'm gonna throw in a piece of jerky. No. Um. Monster meat? Is that gonna be enough? To. Um. I want turkey dinner from this. Or Thanksgiving dinner. Please. Open up Chester for me. Please give me Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving dinner. Thanks. Thank you for the Thanksgiving dinner. Please. Please. I would love it if I could acquire the Thanksgiving dinner. Okay. Meme aside, we need to get to work here. Alright. Because drop the eye bone. Can I get my backpack back? Thank you. Um, get the frog legs going here. The jerky, the jerky is gonna keep us through the winter, and it's gonna do us wonders because jerky keeps quite a long. So why is the crock pot taking so done long? 
Holy cow, that's a pretty long crock pot in my book. Oh, <gasps> yes! Thank you for the thanks. Uh, thank you for the turkey dinner, actually. So, this is what we want. We can get the carrots going here, and we can make some ratatouille. Ratatouille. It's not going to be the greatest ratatouille, but it's going to keep us full for a bit. Oh, let's eat these petals, actually. And we're going to burn the rest. And we got more meat coming right off the drying rack, so that's good. We can put some more meat on the drying racks. All right, this is turning out pretty good. Just converting the stuff that we don't need, like is going to spoil, into stuff that we kind of need to eat. Let's put the meatballs back. Let's take all the stuff out of here, and then can we dump it in here? Because we have, yeah, four jerky. We need room for tiny jerky, though, so I'm going to eat these. Let's eat the ratatouille. Got turkey dinner. We got berries. Got more ratatouille going here. Actually, let's eat the butterflies, because we're going to get health and hunger. My mouth keeps drifting away from the mic, and I don't exactly enjoy that. This is probably going to give me monster... Actually, uh, what to do, what to do. I'm going to let the monster meat spoil. And we can make a fistful of jam. Why not? So, we're 16 minutes in. Winter is going to be coming in a couple more days. What do I want to do in that time? Well, I've decimated the tree population over here, but I, what I really want to do is I just need to get... I'd like to get a sufficient supply of logs. Uh, but something's really knacking at me. Like, go get the... Go get this. Um... If I could just find where some clockwork is, that would be great, too. But I feel like maybe clockwork might be... I feel like clockwork might be over here. But what's what's over here? Yeah, we're going to go in the birch area because we have, we have a good amount of pickaxes. I can leave the shaver at home. We do not need the watermelon because that's going to give us a fistful of jam. The ratatouille can be for the road. We can drop another part to the contraption. We have a half janky spear. And overall, things are looking, I'm not going to say bleak. But man, if winter could come any time, that would be great if it could come right now. The drying racks are really going to help. I can't stress that enough how much those are going to help. Oh! Is it time? I think that's a color change, and depending on how cold I get, that's a winter bird. That's a winter bird. Winter, winter is officially upon us. It was just a matter of time. That is a winter bird. Okay, winter's here. Great. Well, not really great, but. It, ha it has come. It has come. He cometh. Cthulhu. That's a winter bird. Okay. I'm going to take the beginning stages of winter here to just run up to the north here. Yeah. Because, uh, again, I use I use a program called Action. Um, I can already see how short the day is and how long dusk is. The meat that we gathered is going to be great for both insanity and... Um, I'm just going to shut up. Actually, I'll explain jerky. Oh, everything just looks, it feels cold. Ugh. I really, I, I enjoy that about this game. How there's very definitive m markings in when things are and when things aren't. Yeah, because look at the trees are losing their leaves. Uh, so I'm not going to get any birch nuts off of any. I'm not chopping down trees that look like that, because that's usually a bad sign. We can go to town on these trees, though. We have enough rocks, we have enough sticks, we have enough grass. The nights are going to be long, and it has come. Winter has came, and it's now here to stay for quite a while. 
But don't let that deter us. We don't have any jackets, but the hat that we have and the beard is going to give us significant insulation. And basically, all that's winter is, is you just need to stay warm. Food is going to be a little less more prevalent. But if we have to, we can take to trapping down here. If we, if we need to, if it's a must. We have meat. We have morsels. Um, I will be going to the north, though, to get some ice. And, you know, we might do a bit of winter exploring. Not only for um, ice, but I would like to find some gears so we can make an ice fling a when uh, summer comes. Uh, because those are very important for keeping everything not on fire. That's stale wet goop. This is raw. This is the Blommer statue. Let's go dig up these logs. Is that new music? Ooh, I like that. Very nice. So yes, that is a snowbird. Winter is here, ladies and gentlemen. And we're at 21 minutes. Should I leave it off here? Should I cut you guys all off? Leave you in suspense? I don't know. Put on some headphones, though. This, it's a, it's a very eerie sensation. Because it, it's summer where I am, and it's, it was n high of 95 today. And this game makes me want to shiver. This is going to be a bad idea. I don't like chopping this tree. I really don't want to chop this tree. Please don't turn into a tree, guard. I pray to you. Thank you. As you can see, dusk is so long in this game, or we're going to have even a longer night. This game is going to... This season will either... This, this season thins the sheep from the... Wolves. Oh, see, that is when that happens. It's time to put these on. Well, actually, no, because I've read some conflicting things in this game, but we'll get to that point. Uh, just like uh, you don't need to wear your stuff at night because the fire um, it maximizes that. So our crops are gonna grow extremely slowly now. Uh, give me the seed. Yeah, things are gonna grow really slow. Oh. My jerky is starting to come in. So this is tiny jerky. We're going to replace the birch nuts with the small jerky. I'm going to put some more frogs in the drying rack. Um, I want to keep an eye on the birch nuts, though. This full of jam is going to be great. Uh, the ratatouille. We can swap out for the pumpkin. No, don't cook the pumpkin. Ah, oh, darn it. And so things have begun. Winter is officially upon us, and we're going to need a lot of supplies. But, you know, ever so coincidentally, look what I've planted here. And look what we have to the south, because there was a reason why I kind of avoided um, going down there, is so that we can use um, all the natural stuff that we have around us for supplies. Because I think, I think this winter will be also a waiting game. I have no clue what's upon us. But anyway, guys, this has been Dinner Fried Dinner Steak here. This has been Season 1, Episode 6 of Don't Starve, Winter's Upon Us. And if you enjoy the content and you like my voice, my soft, soothing voice, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much, guys, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.